In this episode, I wanna talk about the one thing that is holding you back from more money, growing your business, improving in your career, being more disciplined, everything that's required to achieve your full potential. And that thing is choice. You are operating as if you have a choice. And when you can eliminate that option, when you have no choice, you'll create extraordinary results in your life. So I'm gonna start by telling you a story. I have a private client who lost his son to suicide. And that was actually the way he came into my world. As only I can imagine, his life was devastated as a result of the loss of his son. And in seeking some sort of emotional stability and finding tools to move forward, he showed up at one of my live events, got into our work, and he's been in our community for the last several years. And this work has transformed his life. And as a result of that, he became certified in our work and he's been incorporating it into the leadership development company that he's launched. And so we've been working together privately over the course of the last nine months and we've come up with a fantastic plan for him to grow his business, but he has not been taking consistent action. And so we started to unpack it on one of our last calls. And one of the things that he told me was that a million people were going to know his son's name, the son that he lost. His name is Marcus. And he said, I'm, I'm doing this work because I want to bring emotional intelligence, emotional resiliency to people in the environments where they work so that I can support them so that some of them can be saved from the same type of tragic loss that I experienced with my son, but also so that people can be free and happy in their lives. And he has an opportunity to build the next generational leadership development company. There are a lot of people who are aging out right now people like Tony Robbins, people like John Maxwell. And the technology to help human beings evolve and become happy, to downregulate our nervous systems and allow us to be resilient under any circumstance is evolving. So he is trained in that technology. He's got the pedigree to be able to bring it out to the world. He started his businesses without even putting much effort into it, generated a quarter of a million dollars. And yet we're having a challenge executing on the plan. And the reason why he's having a challenge executing on the plan is because he believes he has choice. He's, he's comfortable right now. He's got multiple businesses. There isn't anything that is pressuring him to have to take action. But if we look for it, the pressure is actually there. He was the one who told me that a million people are going to know his son's name. And so we started talking about this intelligent journey that he's been on that brought him into this work and he realized that his son Marcus played a critical role. If it weren't for Marcus, he never would have gotten into this work. And so really, he and Marcus are building this business together. And he believes that. But what he didn't see, didn't see that came out in the course of our coaching conversation is that Marcus did his job and now he needs to do his. He needs to be in consistent action and take this work to the people who need it and as a result of that, a million people will know Marcus's name. And so when he started to see this clearly, he began to put himself in a position where he has no choice but to be who he is destined to be. But not seeing the truth of this situation, he gives himself a choice, a choice to procrastinate, a choice to focus on other things, a choice to question himself, a choice to wonder whether he's good enough or not. All of the things that the mind will do in order to mentalize these stored emotions, these unprocessed emotions inside of us that we developed when we were children, he'll come up with a logic or limiting beliefs or a story that will prevent him from moving forward, that will give him choice. And that choice will not only destroy the man he could have been, but it will prevent him from helping millions of people who need his help and ultimately honoring the contribution of the sacrifice that his son made in this life. So I want you to start becoming aware of this really cunning, baffling, and powerful saboteur called choice. Where is there something that you know you want to be creating in your life? Or where is there a vision of who you can become? Where you are allowing choice to prevent you from becoming the person you're destined to become. Where you are not seeing the dramatic truth of the situation and in that truth seeing you have no choice because that's the leverage you need to leave your old self behind 
and become great. Because becoming great is not about hustle or grinding or pushing harder or setting your clock and being more disciplined. Th those are all effects. The discipline, the execution of being honest with yourself about what's possible that you are not pursuing as a result of this thing called choice. It's scary to be honest with yourself. And it was a really scary thing when I woke up one day around 13 years ago, after having blacked out for the first time and not remembering what happened to me the night before, to realize that I was a drug addict, I was an alcoholic, I was a sex addict, I was probably a workaholic too. I was certainly addicted to the negative inner chatter in my mind. It was a really scary thing for me to be honest and say, I have a problem. You know, fortunately I had other people around me who I trusted who also reinforced this idea that I had a problem. And I got into therapy and I got into working a 12-step program and I, I didn't have a choice. I didn't have a choice because if I kept engaging in the same behavior, I was either gonna drive drunk and kill myself or kill somebody else, or I was gonna overdose from drugs or put myself in a compromised situation as a result of sexual addiction. It was literally risking my life. So I had no choice. But the thing is, is that you're risking your life right now with this thing called choice. So we've got to get you to a place, and we can do it together, where you realize you have no choice. I had to work a 12-step program and develop my recovery and get sober. And now as I think about extending that into the rest of my life, I think that I know that I can create a movement of awakened people. This is my vision. I believe that I can create a multi-billion dollar transformational company. I believe, and I've shared this on other episodes, that I can become president of the United States and continue to help change the world. When I'm honest with myself, I believe all of these things are possible, especially when I believe that this vision that I have wasn't something I just imagined but something the creator of heaven and earth has instilled in me. And that's my vision. And no vision is better than another. What's your vision? What vision do you have for your own greatness? Because in the earlier stages, we get glimpses and whispers of this thing. And then we shut it down. Oh, that's not me. I'm not good enough. That's for other people. Look at my current situation. How am I going to bridge the gap between where I, are, where I am and where I want to be? That's what my client feels. All of that, even though I can see clearly that his life and his career have been unfolding for him to create the next great $100 million plus leadership development company. Hey, it's David. Quick interruption to your regularly scheduled podcast episode. I want to let you know about an opportunity to go even deeper into this work together. If you have not yet, please check out the show notes. In there, we've got links to both our Mind Hack and our Whole Human Framework programs. Our Mind Hack course is an incredible framework. It's the foundation of everything that I teach on this show to help you understand how to become deeply aware of the subconscious programs that are holding you back and to teach you the technologies and frameworks to allow you to dramatically transform those belief systems and rewire your brain. Again, the MindHack program is our seven-day self-paced program. We also have our 12-week course, The Whole Human Framework. And we've got both of them right now bundled in a special offer for those of you who want to go big, want to go fast, and who understand that you don't want to put off another day of your full potential or holding on to unnecessary stress, anxiety, or suffering, but you want to be liberated from these habits of thinking and have a powerful living experience. Check out the link in the show notes. Jump on over to the website. Take a look at the programs and the extraordinary success stories of entrepreneurs just like you who have gone through these courses, and I will see you on the other side. And now, back to your regularly scheduled podcast episode. What are you imagining for your greatness? Because that's not something you're imagining, it's something that you've been given. You know, as I mentioned before, recovery put me in a position where I had no choice. And in recovery, I saw that the God of my own understanding could do for me things that I could not do for myself. And this is not a religious conversation. It's identifying some form or force outside of you that is greater than you that has been able to accomplish things that you haven't been able to accomplish for yourself. For me, 
God is this ever-present, everywhere, omnipotent, omniscient energy of intelligence that is loving, that is kind, that is the foundation of the material world, that has coordinated our ability to have a physical and living existence on this planet Earth, that orchestrates all of the physics of the cosmos and prevents our planet from smashing into other planets, that organizes the intelligence of our body. It's everywhere and it's everything and whatever it is for you, that's up to you. But when you see what God has done for you that you could not have done for yourself, you realize you're nothing. When I was in recovery, God took my stresses and my worries. God took my obsessive habit of using drugs and alcoholism. And it was a practice every single day to surrender and remind myself that there's work for me to do and there's work that I'm not meant to do. And that work that I'm not meant to do is meant to be done by a force greater than me. But when you really look at anything that you've ever accomplished, anything that you're proud of, anything that you cherish, 99.99999% of it has been done for you. I think about this podcast, and again, I've mentioned this before. It's like, well, sure, I recorded an episode every week for a year, and then this podcast took off, and now we have over a million listeners a month. But I would have never been able to do that if YouTube hadn't been created by some higher power through the ideas that were given to people who created it. I could never have done that if Steve Jobs had not been given the idea for the iPhone, and then that created the podcast platform that is now Apple. I would never have been able to do that, to get my message out there, to have a million listens a month if somebody hadn't been given the idea of Spotify and materialized that into the world. <laughs> so when you really look at what I did in order to accomplish this great achievement of a million listeners a month, I did very little compared to the entirety of what had to happen. And frankly, even the ideas I have and the ideas all of those other great people had, those aren't even our ideas. Those aren't our thoughts. Those are thoughts that have been given to us, thoughts that have been given to you, thoughts that exist in the field of consciousness that come to us when we're ready as an act of kindness and love so that we can be an instrument of creating great things in the world. I want you to take a second to think about something that you've accomplished that you think is fantastic. It might be meeting your soulmate. It might be your kids. It might be the career you have or the business you have. It could be your own body. But just think about that for a minute. What small, almost minuscule role you've played in all of that. I made a decision back in December of 2012 that I was gonna meet a beautiful Colombian woman and make her my wife. And through a series of extraordinary coincidences, that had to have started even before I made that decision. I met my wife, a beautiful Colombian woman, one night at a restaurant in Sarasota, Florida. Right? So we are nothing. You are nothing. But here's the thing. While you are nothing, you are everything in God. The God of your own understanding. And so for me, I'm looking to eliminate choice. And one way I do it is to say, Every single morning, God, I lay my life at your feet to do with me and do through me as you will. I try my best to let go of everything, and it's a daily practice. And I only share all of this with you because what I'm encouraging you to do is to eliminate the choice that is sabotaging you from becoming the best person you can be. This is Particularly dangerous if you've got a comfortable life, and most of us do, even though we may not be where we want to be financially and we may not be living our full potential, we're comfortable. We've got a roof over our head. We've got a little bit of money in the bank account. We've got food on the table. We've got access to the internet. And so we use those things as a reason for not being the greatness that we actually are. I know there's greatness inside of you. There's greatness inside of each and every one of us. That's why we came. You've imagined greatness for yourself. You have a vision for what you're capable of. It may be something that you're actively pursuing right now, but choice is preventing you from being in more consistent action. It may be an idea or a vision that you had several years ago that you've temporarily given up on because life feels too hard or too complex or there's too many things going on. 
So for me and all of that, I surrender my plan to what I call the great way maker, right? My higher power. And you don't have to use God. My client is using his son, Marcus, to see things clearly. So what can you use for your own leverage to take away this dangerous choice that you believe you have? Is it God? Is it someone who sacrificed something for you and you want to honor that? Is it knowing that you have a vision and that if you have the vision, it was given to you and therefore it's possible? Because ultimately you have to give up the choice. So you have no option, even when things get tough. And again, that doesn't mean we have to hustle and we have to grind. There are times when we should rest. Achieving your greatness is not a do-it-yourself project. Other people, synchronicities, support will show up. But if we're going to continue to move forward when things don't go the way we expect it to and when challenges come up, we have to have something that keeps us going. And the one thing that will prevent you from moving forward is this thing called choice. Give up the choice and you gain everything and even more so than you could possibly imagine. So I hope this is helpful for you. Not a lot of people are having this conversation and most people are getting tripped up because of this invisible block called choice. So I'd love to know what you think. If you're listening on YouTube, do me a favor, comment below, share with me what choices you think you're making available to yourself that don't serve you well. Share with me what leverage you can create to eliminate that choice. Ask any questions. If you're listening on one of the podcast platforms, do me a favor, do this work for yourself. And if you haven't yet, leave me a rating. It's the way we can get this work out to more and more people. Subscribe. I love you so much. I want to support you in achieving everything that you came here to achieve. And in today's episode, the best way I can do that is point out that there's this thing called choice that you're giving yourself and you'd be well served to give it up. I love you. I'm here with you. And I'll see you in the next episode. Hey, it's David. Hop on over to davidbear.com. Click right here. There's also a link in the show notes and sign up for our newsletter. You'll get immediate access to my free MindHack ebook as well, a couple of trainings to help you master the inner game. This is a great way to stay informed and be a part of our community and be notified of special announcements. Click below, head on over to the website, get subscribed. If you loved this video, make sure you check out this one or this one, and I will see you in the next video.